Today on the Daily Deposit, we will look at how Bud Light owner places two execs on leave after transgender influencer backlash. Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button like it owes you money and don't forget to smack the like button with a virtual high five. Bud Light, the beer that promises to help you dilly dilly your way through life, is facing some heat from both trans activists and conservative media. The cause of the controversy? A collaboration with transgender influencer Dylan Mulvaney, which saw Bud Light sponsoring two of her Instagram posts and sending her a commemorative beer can with her face on it. Some people didn't take kindly to this partnership, and musician Kid Rock even posted a video of himself shooting cases of Bud Light as a form of protest. It's like he's saying, I'm not drinking Bud Light because it's associated with a trans influencer, but I'm willing to waste it by shooting it with a gun. Take that, woke culture. The backlash against Bud Light and Mulvaney also comes amid a wave of legislation targeting transgender people, with a record-breaking 417 anti-LGBTQ bills introduced in state legislatures this year alone. That's more bills than a congressional intern has to fetch in a day. As a result of the controversy, Anheuser-Busch, Bud Light's parent company, has placed two executives on leave. It's like a time out for grown-ups. Alyssa Hainerscheid, Bud Light's vice president of marketing, and Daniel Blake, Anheuser-Busch's vice president in charge of mainstream brands, are the ones taking the heat. But fear not, Bud Light fans, Todd Allen, most recently the vice president of global marketing for Budweiser, is set to replace Hainerscheid. He's like the understudy who finally gets their time in the spotlight. Hainerscheid had previously spoken about the need to attract young drinkers by promoting inclusivity, which makes sense. After all, who doesn't want to drink a beer that's as inclusive as a group hug? Bud Light has a history of partnering with LGBTQ support organizations and releasing special rainbow-colored bottles for Pride Month. It's like the beer version of a unicorn, magical, colorful, and sometimes a little too sweet. Despite the controversy, Experts don't expect Bud Light to suffer any significant damage to their bottom line. But who knows, maybe they'll have to answer some tough questions about the matter when they report their earnings on May 4th. It's like a beer drinking version of a job performance review. Cha Ching, there you have it your deposit has cleared. If you like these stories, please like and subscribe, and don't forget to click the bell icon to be the first to receive all our deposits as they become available.